Today I'm going to show you how to create a network session with your iConnectivity interface and your Windows computer. I'm on Windows 10 and you're going to need two bits of software. I'm using Oracle for X series. Uh, 181 is the current version, which is right here. And I have a few interfaces up on that. And then we're going to use RTP MIDI, which is also available on our website. And I'll link that. If we go to about, you can see, there you go. Make sure you have the iConnectivity logo here. And then our TV version, this is the current version build right now. Um, so let's let's kind of start this off. The best way to make this connection is to have the interface make the connection with the computer. And the reason it's the best is because once you set it up, every time you restart your computer, the interface is gonna look for the computer and as soon as it sees it turned on, it's gonna make that connection. If not, you're gonna to have to go in and manually connect all the, all the ports every time, which is a little bit of a hassle. So to create a new session, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in the RTP MIDI program here first, and we're gonna hit this little plus button that says add session. And it gives it the default name of your computer, which we we'll probably won't need. And so I'm gonna put a name in here. So I put uh, DIN one. So the first port of every interface on RTP is always has a routing to DIN one. So I'm gonna put that in there. You can check out the default routings in the description as well. Uh, I'll put a spreadsheet down there for you. Um, and the bonjour name, so the local name is what you're gonna see in your software. Um, it'll say network session and it'll give you whatever this name. This name can be whatever you want it to be. The bonjour name is gonna be what we use to connect to the interface. Um, that's how they communicate and connect to each other. Um, now the bonjour name does have to be under 15 characters, so just uh, heads up that's the max that it'll take um, also once you put in the bonus your name make sure you click outside the field or hit enter um, so that it actually takes in the selection so what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable it right here so it's enabled but there's nothing connecting yet because we haven't done the work uh, over here so I'm actually gonna do uh, the Mio XL I'm gonna get connected to this so I'm gonna go into my RTP slash network MIDI page actually have this one connected via RTP right now. Uh, let's go into our PA12, which is connected via Ethernet. Uh, so we're gonna do the very first port. So we're gonna switch it from responder mode here. We're gonna switch it to initiator. And then where it says name, I'm going to paste in the bonus your name. So make sure to copy and paste it in here. These names need to be identical spaces. Everything has to be perfectly identical. And then we're going to hit save. Once you hit save, you should see this information show up here, basically an IP uh, and port number, and it'll say the name of the actual connection that it's made with here. And if we go back over to RTP, we should see that now we have a participant of the PA12, which is the very first, you can see the name of the very first one right here. That's shown up in our participants. And that's all you need to do to have it connected. Um, now we would want to do this for each port. So if we had multiple ports, we want to create, so PA12 has four, we want four separate ones. Um, the main reason we want to do that is because we don't want to have everything connecting through the same session in your software, then you're going a single output or input for every single device, which wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be preferable. So hopefully that helps you on how to set up and make a connection really quick from your interface over to your computer. Now, if you open up a software, uh, let, me, let me grab Ableton real quick here, just so you can see that now this name, DIN1D50, will show up in the preferences. inside Ableton we're going to go to options preferences we're going to go to link MIDI I have a lot of interfaces connected as you've seen earlier but you will also see this one right here which is DIN 1 D50 so this is the port that we just created uh, the network port name so hopefully that helps you out that'll show up for input and output as
these ports go in and out, uh, network ports. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.